to create a reaction. Whenever you're passing here, you hear here, it's very good to get the knee to the belly. Knee to the belly means knee to the belly. This is nice knee to the belly because my right foot's down. There's minimal weight on his kind of midsection here, and most of the weight is on my left feet, okay? But if he takes his feet off the mat and then his core is in, knee to the belly should be like that. And that is still not all the weight, okay? Knee to the belly is intended to trigger reactions, so the hands move in directions that you want them to. Okay, typically, you want knee to the belly to be here or here, so that I can hold them in half. Okay? Baseball chokes are set up like so. Okay? From knee to the belly, it's the best. Okay, to get the knee to the belly, you can do it off. Pass in here, and it's good to just get to knee to the belly. There's also like this knee right here. I don't really like it because it kind of puts a lot of pressure on the knee, but your right foot is around the hip and your knees across. That's intended more for control. So you get the knee to the belly, grab that collar, pull up, and this opens up as I grab here and I lean down so that my wrists are together, okay? The next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit off here, kind of like in a kiss a katami position here, because if he begins to come up into me, he goes into the choke, he can't really roll away, he can't get his arms in between, and whatever it is, I can finish the choke. If you're already in side control, the way to get me to the belly is you want a nice grip with your left hand here so that you can do basically a push-up, okay? When you do that push-up, this hand should go to the hip, okay? As I give him a nice, a little bit of a give the business cross face here as my right hand goes. I like to go to the pants so that I can control his hip. And then from here, you get him one, two, three here, and pull him up as this slides through here. You can dip your shoulder here as I sit off this way. Okay. The mechanics for this baseball choke okay, is I'm trying to tear the material okay, without letting it slip. I, it's a little bit loose here, but your pinky should be touching your thumb, just like a baseball bat. And what I wanna do here is I wanna pull. The left hand into the right wrist as my forearms are together. I have to be leaning back in order for my forearms to be together. Because if I lean forward, the forearms are separate. And then if you shove that arm through there, then it makes it difficult. I still may be able to finish it, but it's hard. I have to close that gap with my forearms together so I lean back, okay? From here, my left hand and right hand have strong grips and my shoulder is controlling his kind of midsection here. So I'm constantly giving him pressure here so that no matter what happens, I can pull in with my left hand, see how his head's turning here and my right elbow drops, okay? As I'm looking up and finishing here, okay? Your hands should be like this, because this will be a this. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to just go basic from side control. You're gonna pressure his face with the left hand, and you're gonna find the pants right here, and then you're gonna dig your toes in the mat. You're gonna go one, two, three. That pull them up. right here. If the grip doesn't slip, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> okay. And then you pull up and then you finish the baseball choke. Okay. Sometimes they have a free left hand. He'll push my face maybe and he'll try to get up. I don't care. Okay. Even if he gets up right here, I'll still have enough twisting, but we're going to get into that later. So. So we're here, I have just deep enough of a grip here so I can get him some good business right here with that shoulder. My right hand goes to this hip right here. Okay, right on that Cross Machado embroidered logo on the GLS key. We're going to be ordering those. So <laughs> okay, so we're going to be ordering the white razor, the black razor, and the blue diamond. And I said that, up, up, start a business, and then here, and I want to drop my elbow on his chest. I don't want to be here. I'm gonna be here. And then from here, I'm 
I'm just going to slide my hips so that my shoulder's on him. I want to pull my left hand. See how it turns his head? And then my right elbow goes down right there. Okay? This is going to be your preliminary introduction to the baseball chip. Okay? So, time. Over here. Rolling the hips. In order for me to get a good cross face here, I'm going to roll right there. My right hand goes on that. And board the logo as I toes dig in. And go one, two, three. Okay? Now, it's going to be nice to land like this. Neither belly is that foot driving laterally. Okay? If I really want her to be not so nice, you land literally. I won't do it. Not do it. You land. Yeah. Like this. And I'm still 60%. Here. I want my shoulder on him. Even here, I don't care. If he steps over my body, I'm gonna roll to my stomach and bring my head between my legs. Even if he rolls this way, I'm gonna keep rolling. But we'll do that now. So, knee to the belly. Now 